the Nishant Oli will now be marched in by Flying Officer Prakhar Mishra. Please rise in honor of the President's colors. All uniformed personnel shall salute. Jab. निशान टोली आपके सामने से गुजरे तो आप उसके सम्मान में खड़े हो जाएं तथा बंदीधारी सैनिक सल्यूट करें निशान टोली गुजरने के बाद आप सभी अपने स्थान पर बैठ जाएं आज की निशान टोली का नेतृत्व कर रहे हैं फ्लाइंग ऑफिसर प्रखर मिश्रा colors a mark of honor were presented to the indian air force by the first president of india yeah. dr rajendra prasad on the 1st of april 1954 recognition of its service to the nation colors therefore are the highest honor for a service and are displayed with highest regard and pride on special occasions like this इस वर्ष का विषय भारतीय वायुसेना सक्षम सशक्त आत्मनिर्भर भारतीय वायुसेना के उस सार को दर्शाता है जो भविष्य की ओर अग्रसर है यह देश के आसमान की सुरक्षा में उत्कृष्टता शक्ति और स्वतंत्रता के प्रति भारतीय वायुसेना की प्रतिबद्धता को दर्शाता है और देश की संप्रभुता की रक्षा करने शांति बनाए रखने और आने वाली पीढ़ियों के एक उज्जवल भविष्य को सुरक्षित करने के लिए भारतीय वायुसेना की प्रतिबद्धता की पुष्टि करता है हाल के घटनाक्रम इस विषय की महत्ता को पुनर्स्थापित करते हैं जिसमें रफाल जेट जैसे अत्याधुनिक विमानों को शामिल करना एच टी फोर्टी प्रशिक्षक विमानों की शुरुआत और लंबी दूरी की सतह से हवा में मार करने वाली मिसाइलों के लिए प्रोजेक्ट कुशा का कार्य शामिल है तेजस लाइट कॉम्बैट एयरक्राफ्ट और उन्नत लाइट कॉम्बैट हेलीकॉप्टर का स्वदेशी विकास आत्मनिर्भरता प्राप्त करने की दिशा में की गई नई प्रगति को दर्शाता है जो आत्मनिर्भर भारत के दृष्टिकोण को परिभाषित करता है वायु रक्षा प्रणालियों का आधुनिकीकरण और सी और सी जैसे विमानों के साथ रणनीतिक एयर लिफ्ट क्षमताओं का विस्तार भारतीय वायुसेना को एक शक्तिशाली और सशक्त वायुसेना के रूप में दर्शाता है यह विषय देश के आकाश की सुरक्षा के लिए बल के विकास तत्परता और अड़क प्रतिबद्धता का प्रतीक है Very soon we will witness the arrival of Air Officer Commanding in Chief 
Training Command and our reviewing officer for today's parade, Chief of the Air Staff. The parade will give general salute as a mark of respect on their arrival. After review of the parade, Chief of the Air Staff will award unit citations. After his address, we all will rise for the national anthem. Once the parade marches out of the parade ground, there will be a display by the Tri Services Band and Air Warrior Drill Team. This, this will be followed by a scintillating aerial display by PC-7 Mark II aircraft, Light Combat Helicopter Prachan, Sarang Helicopter Display Team, Sukhoi 30 MKI, Light Combat Aircraft Tejas, and the Surikiran Aerobatic Team. वर्तमान समय में जहां नई तकनीकों के चयन पर ध्यान दिया जा रहा है वहीं दूसरी ओर स्वदेशीकरण एवं आत्मनिर्भरता की ओर भी लगातार परिवर्तन किए जा रहे हैं जिसके कारण न केवल राष्ट्रीय भावना का विकास हो रहा है बल्कि स्वदेशी तकनीक को अपनाया भी जा रहा है 21वीं सदी में बदलते सैन्य समीकरणों एवं भौगोलिक तथा सामरिक परिस्थितियों के अनुसार भारतीय वायुसेना हवाई प्रभुत्व एवं हवाई वर्चस्व को बनाए रखने के लिए लगातार नए कदम उठा रही है President Air Force Families Welfare Association Regional, Mrs. Vandana Kapoor, has arrived. She is being received by President Afa Local, Mrs. Asmata Ratish. Air Marshal Nagesh Kapoor, Ati Vishisht Seva Medal, Vayu Sena Medal, Air Officer Commanding in Chief, Training Command has arrived.
वर्ष के दौरान भारतीय वायुसेना ने विभिन्न मित्र देशों की सेनाओं के साथ छह अंतर्राष्ट्रीय वायु युद्ध अभ्यासों में भाग लिया है इनमें मिस्र में एक्सरसाइज ब्राइट स्टार भारतीय महासागर क्षेत्र में एक्सरसाइज डेजर्ट नाइट अलास्का में एक्सरसाइज रेड फ्लैग ग्रीस में हॉपेक्स ऑस्ट्रेलिया में एक्सरसाइज पिच ब्लैक और मलेशिया में एक्सरसाइज उदार शक्ति सहित अन्य युद्ध अभ्यासों ने हमारे सहयोगियात्मक भावना को मजबूत किया है और प्रमुख मित्र देशों के साथ हवाई सहयोग को और गहरा किया है इन अभ्यासों ने न केवल आधुनिक युद्ध रणनीतियों को परिष्कृत किया है बल्कि भारतीय वायुसेना की वैश्विक पहुंच और कूटनीतिक क्षमताओं को भी प्रदर्शित किया है Vice Chief of the Air Staff, Air Marshal S. P. Dharkar, Param Vishisht Seva Medal, Ati Vishisht Seva Medal, and Mrs. Smita Dharkar have arrived. Drawing your attention to the backdrop at the far end of the parade ground, you will see various aircraft systems which portray today's theme, Indian Air Force, potent, powerful, self-reliant. On the top left, you can see the NAVIC satellite, which is acronym for Navigation with Indian Constellation, developed by ISRO to meet the positioning, navigation and timing requirements of the nation. Below it, is the Apache attack helicopter, capable of carrying out precision attacks at standoff ranges and operate in hostile airspace with threats from ground. It is followed by Mirage 2000 and the mighty Sukhoi 30 MKI. In the center of the display is the globe, highlighting the Indian Air Force's expanded reach, whereby it has been able to render humanitarian aid across borders and has conducted flying exercises with air forces of friendly foreign countries. On the top right is Netra, the airborne early warning and control system, followed by unmanned aerial vehicle Heron Mark II and the multi-role fighter Rafale. In the bottom right side is the indigenous light combat aircraft Tejas. परिदृश्य की बाईं ओर आप देख सकते हैं भारतीय वायु सेना के विभिन्न विमान जो कि आपदा एवं राहत कार्यों में लीन हैं। उसी के साथ दर्शाया गया है आकाश मिसाइल सिस्टम जिसे डिफेंस रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द्वारा विकसित किया गया है आगे आप देख सकते हैं सी वन स्वदेशी लाइट कॉम्बैट एयरक्राफ्ट तेजस सुखोई थर्टी लड़ाकू विमान चिनूक तथा स्वदेशी लाइट कॉम्बैट हेलीकॉप्टर प्रचंड इसके ही साथ चित्रित है नेत्र एयरबोर्न अर्ली वार्निंग एंड कंट्रोल सिस्टम जो कि डीआरडीओ द्वारा विकसित किया गया है बैकड्रॉप की दाहिनी ओर आप देख सकते हैं सी सेवनटीन व अपाचे लड़ाकू हेलीकॉप्टर लड़ाकू विमान मिराज 2000 और मल्टी रोल लड़ाकू विमान रफाल जेट इसके ठीक साथ है हिंदुस्तान एरोनोटिक्स लिमिटेड द्वारा डिजाइन एवं निर्मित एच प्रशिक्षक विमान अंत में आप देख सकते हैं C295 विमान अस्त्र मिसाइल को फायर करते हुए सुखोई थर्टी लड़ाकू विमान एवं रोमांचक कार्यों में लीन आकाश गंगा स्काई डाइविंग टीम तथा भारतीय वायु सेना के अन्य कार्मिकों को राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द बैकड्रॉप इज द स्टैटिक डिस्प्ले शो केसिंग वेरियस एयरक्राफ्ट एंड सिस्टम ऑन द एक्सट्रीम लेफ्ट एंड राइट इज द लेटेस्ट इंडक्शन इन टू द इंडियन एयरफोर्स सी टू नाइन फाइव एयरक्राफ्ट which is a medium tactical transport aircraft. From the left, 
After the C-295 is the Akash missile system followed by the indigenous advanced light helicopter. On the left and right of the backdrop are two HTT-40 aircraft. We then have the indigenous light combat helicopter Prachand followed by the Rohini radar to its right. While Air Force Station Palum was the venue for the Air Force Day celebrations earlier, the same was shifted to Air Force Station Hendon later. Hendon continued to host the celebrations till three years back, post which the parade was conducted at Chandigarh and Prayagraj. And this year, the venue has been shifted to Air Force Station Tambram at Chennai. The ceremonial parade today comprises eight flights formed by 46 officers and 253 air warriors. Parade today is led by Group Captain Ankur Mathur. After review of the parade, Chief of the Air Staff will award unit citations. The national anthem will be played after the address by the Chief of Air Staff. All are requested to rise for the same and sing along with befitting pride and fervor. Once the parade marches out of the parade ground, there will be a display by the Tri Services Band and Air Warrior Drill Team. This will be followed by a scintillating aerial display by PC-7 Mark II aircraft, LCH Prachand, Sarang Helicopter Display Team, Sukhoi 30 MKI, LCA Tejas and the Surya Kiran Aerobatic Team. We also have on parade Indian Air Force Master Warrant Officer Pradeep Kumar Yadav and Command Master Warrant Officer Rajinder Singh. They have played a pivotal role in Indian Air Force by fostering unity, camaraderie and strengthening commitment to safeguarding the nation. This year's theme, Indian Air Force, potent, powerful, self-reliant highlights the force's unwavering commitment to safeguard the nation's airspace, self-reliance, and modernization. Today, we shall showcase not only India's military aviation excellence, but also strength and capabilities of the Indian Air Force and its role in protecting the nation's skies. The theme, potent, powerful, self-reliant, encapsulates the Indian Air Force's transformative journey towards becoming a formidable and self-reliant force. As we celebrate the 92nd anniversary of the Indian Air Force, this theme symbolizes the force's evolution, readiness, and unyielding commitment to safeguard the nation's skies. Varsh 1932 ko janmi, Bharti Sena पिछले नौ दशकों में पिस्टन इंजन के जहाजों से लेकर वर्तमान के आधुनिक जेट इंजनों तक का सफर तय किया है। बदलते वैश्विक परिदृश्य में भारतीय वायुसेना ने युद्ध, साइबर वॉर, हाइपरसोनिक मिसाइलों का उन्नतीकरण, आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इत्यादि नए आयामों को अपनाने में भी तेजी से कदम बढ़ाया है। बल्कि स्वदेशीकरण के माध्यम से देश में ही निर्मित नई तकनीकों का विकास भी करती जा रही है। भारतीय वायुसेना के इस वर्ष के विषय सक्षम, सशक्त, आत्मनिर्भर को यह बखूबी दर्शाता है। परेड कमांडर ग्रुप कैप्टन अंकुर माथुर हैज टेकन ओवर द सेरेमोनियल परेड फॉर द 93rd एयर फोर्स डे। ग्रुप कैप्टन अंकुर माथुर was commissioned into the fighter stream of Indian Air Force on 16 June 2001. During his illustrious career, he has logged more than 2,700 hours of accident-free flying on MiG-21s, MiG-29s and Hawk Mark 132 aircraft. The officer is a qualified flying instructor and is an alumnus of the National Defence Academy and the prestigious Defence Services Staff College, Wellington. He has undergone higher air command course at College of Air Warfare, where he was also part of the Warfare and Aerospace Strategy Program. He has tenanted various prestigious appointments and has been the flight commander of a MiG-21 squadron 
and has commanded a Hawk Squadron. He is presently posted as Chief Operations Officer of a major flying base. The ceremonial parade that you are witnessing holds great significance for all Defence Forces. It reinforces discipline and instills a sense of pride and a spirit decor. Ladies and gentlemen, we are honoured today with the esteemed presence of many Chiefs of Air Staff amongst us. On behalf of Chief of the Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal A.P. Singh, we welcome our former Chiefs of Air Staff. We welcome Air Chief Marshal A.Y. Tipness, Param Vishisht Seva Medal, Ati Vishisht Seva Medal, Vayu Sena Medal, and Mrs. Molina Tipness, Air Chief Marshal S. Krishnaswamy, Param Vishisht Seva Medal, Ati Vishisht Seva Medal, Vayu Sena Medal, and Bar, and Mrs. Harveen Krishnaswamy, Air Chief Marshal S. P. Tyagi, Param Vishisht Seva Medal, Ati Vishisht Seva Medal, Vayu Sena Medal, and Mrs. Vandana Tyagi, Air Chief Marshal F. H. Major, Param Vishisht Seva Medal, Ati Vishisht Seva Medal, Shorya Chakra, Vayu Sena Medal, and Mrs. Zareen Major, Air Chief Marshal P. V. Nayak, Param Vishisht Seva Medal, Vishisht Seva Medal, and Mrs. Madhubala Nayak, Air Chief Marshal N. A. K. Brown, Param Vishisht Seva Medal, Ati Vishisht Seva Medal, Vayu Sena Medal, and Mrs. Kiran Brown, Air Chief Marshal R. K. S. Bhadoria, Param Vishisht Seva Medal, Ati Vishisht Seva Medal, Vayu Sena Medal, and Mrs. Asha Bhadoria. Chief of the Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal A.P. Singh, we welcome Air Chief Marshal A.Y. Tipness, Param Vishisht Seva Medal, Ati Vishisht Seva Medal, Vayu Sena Medal, and Mrs. Molina Tipness, Air Chief Marshal S. Krishnaswamy, Param Vishisht Seva Medal, Ati Vishisht Seva Medal, Vayu Sena Medal, and Bar, and Mrs. Harveen Krishnaswamy, Air Chief Marshal S. P. Tyagi, Param Vishisht Seva Medal, Ati Vishisht Seva Medal, Vayu Sena Medal, and Mrs. Vandana Tyagi.
Very soon we shall have amongst us head of the three services of Indian Armed Forces and permanent chairman of Chiefs of Staff Committee, Chief of Defence Staff, General Anil Chauhan. General Anil Chauhan, Param Vishisht Seva Medal, Uttam Yuddha Seva Medal, Ati Vishisht Seva Medal, Sena Medal, Vishisht Seva Medal, Chief of the Defence Staff has arrived. Soon we shall have the reviewing officer for today's parade, Chief of the Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal A.P. Singh amongst us. He will be received by Air Marshal Nagesh Kapoor, Air Officer Commanding in Chief Training Command. As the reviewing officer receives the general salute, you will witness three Chetak aircraft in WIC formation, led by Wing Commander R.S. Thakur and Squadron Leader A.P. Singh of FIS, trooping the Indian Air Force Ensign. In the aircraft to his left and right will be Wing Commander Neeraj with Flight Lieutenant Nikhil and Squadron Leader Anirudh Grover with Squadron Leader Vanka Kishore respectively. <laughs> Air Chief Marshal A.P. Singh, Param Vishisht Seva Medal, Ati Vishisht Seva Medal, Chief of the Air Staff has arrived.
परीक्षण के लिए हाजिर है श्रीमान chief of the air staff accompanied by the parade commander is now proceeding to inspect the parade on taking over office chief of the air staff has issued a message for all the personnel of the indian air force called the special order of the day it conveys a message of generational transformation with self reliance leadership operational capability and aerospace safety as its cornerstones it puts forward a seamless assimilation of modern technologies and innovations with emphasis on a training methods in consonance with india's growing prowess and international stature Number one squadron commanded by squadron leader Abhijit N M. Number two squadron commanded by squadron leader Siddharth Azad. Shantoli led by flying officer Prakar Mishra Number 3 squadron commanded by squadron leader Kapil Kumar Number four squadron, commanded by squadron leader Anuja. Order of the day, and I quote: I feel honoured with the responsibility of leading the Indian Air Force, as I draw inspiration from the exceptional leadership of my illustrious predecessors. Recent global events have demonstrated that conflicts between nations have become the order of the day which requires IAF to remain operationally capable and a credible deterrence. This can be achieved if the commanders ensure that right down to the last individual everyone understands their role and accomplishes the task. We fight like we train and encourage self-reliance and innovation in tune with the national vision of Vikasit Bharat. Aerospace safety and security of our bases is everyone's concern. Our veterans have toiled against all odds to steer the IAF towards becoming a potent force and shall be treated with due respect and dignity. Finally, I urge everyone to uphold the ethos of an air warrior and follow the rich traditions of this service. Unquote.
भीड़ अब आपके सामने से निडर योद्धा कदम कदम बढ़ाए जाओ अपनी वीर प्रतिज्ञा और गोल्डन जुबली की जोशीली ध्वन पर मार्च करते हुए गुजरेगी When the president calls, march past in front of you. Press all of you to rise in its honor. Uniformed personnel shall salute. Ladies and gentlemen, जब निशान टोली आपके सामने से गुजरे, तो आप सब उसके सम्मान में खड़े हो जाएं एवं वर्दी धारी सैनिक सलूट करें। निशान टोली के गुजरने के बाद आप सभी अपने अपने स्थान पर बैठ जाएं। As the parade marches in front of the days, you will see three pilots, PC7 marks, led by Wing Commander Jude Pereira and Squadron Leader Puri Sharma, presenting Grand Royal Salute. In the front to the left are Squadron Leader Prashant Kumar and Squadron Leader Lokendra Singh, while in the end to the right are Squadron Leader Shakun Sharif and Squadron Leader Deepak Kanwar. जो बढ़ता हूं तो पर्वत भी हिल जाते हैं गरज से कदमों की औलाद पिघल जाते हैं मन में देश पर अभिमान जीवन में अनुशासन एक वायु योद्धा के परिचायक हैं जिसे ये वायु योद्धा अपनी परेड के माध्यम से प्रदर्शित कर रहे हैं आसमान को छूते इन वायु योद्धाओं की ये हाल उस साहस का प्रतीक है जो शत्रु के समूल विनाश करने का बल रखता है अपनी परेड के माध्यम से ये वायु योद्धा भारतीय वायुसेना के साहस शक्ति शौर्य एवं सामर्थ्य को प्रदर्शित करते हुए 
मानो रह रह कर कह रहे हो तन समर्पित मन समर्पित और यह जीवन समर्पित जीवन का हर पल समर्पित मृत्यु का भी क्षण समर्पित देश की सेवा में मेरे जीवन की हर श्वास समर्पित राष्ट्र के रक्षण को मेरे रक्त का कण कण समर्पित Chief of the Air Staff will now award the unit citations. Number one squadron, Tigers, was raised at Dwig Road, Karachi. on the 1st of april 1933 the squadron was the first in the iaf to be awarded with the president standards in 1968 and was at the forefront of action in the air force strikes over terrorist camps in balakot pok for the exemplary achievements in its operational role upholding the reputation of the iaf and relentless gallant service to the nation number 1 squadron air force is awarded unit citation by chief of the air staff Commanding Officer Number One Squadron Group Captain Sushil Kumar and Master Warrant Officer P K Singh will be receiving the citation. Number One Squadron. One two six helicopter unit, christened the Featherweights, was raised at Chandigarh on 15 May 1986.
The unit is the only helicopter unit in the world to operate both the Russian Mi-26 and the American Chinook helicopters. For its unmatched commitment, devotion to duty, display of valor, and decisive performance towards support of operations, 126 Helicopter Unit Air Force is awarded unit citation by the Chief of PA Staff. Commanding Officer 126 Helicopter Unit, Group Captain Aditya Pratap Singh, and Honorary Flight Lieutenant Nishikant Rautre will be receiving the citation. 126 Helicopter Unit. TRU Air Force was raised at Sirsa in Haryana on 14th March 2020 and was redeployed at Kasoli in Himachal Pradesh on 1st January 2022. Presently, the unit is deployed in Ops Snow Leopard and is operational as feeder sensor to IACCS. For exemplary performance during Ops Snow Leopard, for prolonged deployment at forward location in no war, no peace scenario, 362 TRU Air Force is awarded unit citation by the Chief of the Air Staff. Commanding Officer 362 TRU, Squadron Leader Bharat Pandey and Warrant Officer Pinku will be receiving the citation. 362 TRU. Software Development Institute was established in year 1992 with the mandate to undertake in-house design, development, integration and testing of new airborne systems and weapons of the IAF fighter aircraft for its contribution to the Indian Air Force in the areas of indigenous airborne software, DND, the sustenance achieved in ensuring R&D setup of airborne software and simulation software and fully establishing itself as the powerhouse for the airborne software, DND. Software Development Institute Air Force is awarded unit citation by the Chief of the Air Staff. Commandant SDI, Air Vice Marshal K. N. Santosh, Vishisht Seva Medal, and Honorary Flying Officer Surendra Singh will be receiving the citation. Software Development Institute. The Chief of Air Staff will now address the parade. General Lenny Chauhan, Chief of Defence Staff, former Chiefs, senior officers from the three services, esteemed veterans, air warriors on parade, distinguished guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to speak to you on this occasion of 92nd anniversary of the Indian Air Force, a day that fills each one of us with immense pride. Over the past year, we have made significant strides in strengthening our operational capabilities, enhancing our professionalism, and adapting to ever-evolving, ch challenging modern warfare. The Air Force Day is an occasion to honor the courage and valor of all air warriors, past and present, and pay homage to those who have made supreme sacrifice. And on this day, while we rededicate ourselves to the service of the nation, we must also look back to introspect on the previous year, celebrate our achievements, recognize areas where we felt short, learn our lessons, and realign ourselves to the present and future requirements. The global security environment is in the state of constant flux. Ongoing conflicts have demonstrated the inescapable requirement to have a strong and capable Air Force. Therefore, there is a need for the Indian Air Force to be prepared to meet any contingency that challenges our national interests. Adopting latest technology along with innovative and out-of-the-box thinking will play a decisive role in today's multi-domain environment. The theme this year, Bharti Vayu Sena, Saksham, Shashat, Evam Nirbhar, perfectly describes our aspirations. 
Over the years, we have become more empowered with better technology and achieved new levels of op, op exploitation of our systems and weapons. Atmanir Bharta in the field of defense R&D and manufacturing is our priority. And concrete steps have been taken to support Make in India initiatives by engaging MSMEs, startups, individual innovators, professionals, R&D institutes, and academia. The past year has been very eventful, and Indian Air Force has proved its mettle on various fronts. One of our primary objective is to deliver weapons on target, on time, every time. And this capability was aptly showcased during the far power demonstration exercise Vayu Shakti at Pokhran Range in February this year. This was followed by the Air Force level exercise Gagan Shakti in April, during which all elements of the Air Force were exercised in near operational environment so as to learn valuable lessons which are being incorporated in our op plans. This year, we expanded our participation in bilateral and multilateral exercises with the Air Forces of friendly foreign countries. We also conducted the largest multinational exercise Tarang Shakti on Indian soil after a gap of 61 years with participation from Air Forces of more than 30 nations. The fact that this exercise was very well received by all participating Air Forces and our overall arrangements and conduct of the exercise earned a lot of praise is a testimony to the competence and professionalism of our Air Warriors. We have always been the first responder in any cause of humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, both within India and abroad. In the last one year, Indian Air Force has been called upon to provide flood relief in many locations while fighting forest fires in some other. Beyond our borders also, we played an important role in relief and evacuation from many countries. Rescue of merchant ship MV Ruin in March this year demonstrated our strategic reach and prowess. The welfare and well-being of our personnel and their families continues to be the, of utmost importance to us. The Indian Air Force remains fully committed to provide a conducive working environment to one and all. A number of developmental projects on construction or upgradation of accommodation, messes, schools, auditoriums, sports infrastructure, medical and recreational facilities are being pushed to enhance the quality of life and standard of living of our personnel. The Agni Veeds have seamlessly integrated into our Air Force. Indian Air Force became the first service to form an Agni Veer Vayu Women Drill Team. The outstanding performance by our Air Warriors in various sporting events at the Olympic Games this year and other international championships has made us proud. I also take this opportunity to pay tribute to our veterans and acknowledge their outstanding contribution. It is their vision and tenacity of person, purpose that nurtured our Air Force along the path of progress. Let me assure them that we will continue to strive for excellence and ensure success in every mission that we undertake, keeping in line with the values and ethos that we have inherited from them. I especially want to mention the dedication and support of our families who have faced hardships at the home front while we carried out a duty at work and backing of the entire nation without which we wouldn't have succeeded in most of the endeavors. I cannot tell you how honored I feel today to command this elite force with golden legacy and extremely committed and determined air warriors prepared and ready to meet any challenges of the future. As we enter the 93rd year of our existence, let us continue to strive towards a stronger, more capable, and fully self-reliant Indian Air Force. Together, we will ensure that IAF remains a symbol of strength, security, and sovereignty for our nation. I will fail in my duty if I do not place on record my compliments to the Air Officer Commanding-in-Chief Training Command, Air Officer Commanding Air Force Station Tambaram, and all principal staff officers of Air Headquarters and their teams for putting up such a befitting show on the 6th as well as this morning. My appreciation to the Parade Commander and the Air Warriors on Parade for your immaculate turnout, 
precise and crisp drill movements and the josh displayed. Special thanks to the Chennai administration and the government of Tamil Nadu for all the support and our, to our veterans and families who have joined us for these events today. At the end, my wife Sarita and I convey our greetings to all air warriors, Agnivis, NCs, DSC personnel, civilians, esteemed air veterans and families on this special day and wish you all good health, happiness and continued success in all your future endeavors. May the Indian Air Force continue to touch the sky with glory. Jai Hind! अब राष्ट्रगान होगा आपसे अनुरोध है कि आप अपने स्थान पर खड़े हो जाएं एवं गौरव सहित गाए Colors. Uniformed personnel shall salute. जब निशान तोली आपके सामने से गुजरे, तो आप उसके सम्मान में खड़े हो जाएं एवं वर्दी धारी सैनिक सल्यूट करें। निशान तोली गुजरने के बाद आप सभी अपने स्थान पर बैठ जाएं।
राष्ट्रीय परेड भारत की सैन्य शक्ति के साथ साथ हमारे देश के सैनिकों की दृढ़ता कर्तव्य निष्ठा एवं शौर्य का प्रतीक है सूर्य से नजर मिलाती आंखें और कदमों से कदम मिलाती वायु योद्धाओं की यह टोली दुश्मन के लिए एक चेतावनी है कि अगर हमारे देश की संप्रभुता पर कोई संकट आएगा तो हम सब एक साथ मिलकर दुश्मन और संकट का समूल विनाश कर देंगे और इसी राष्ट्र धर्म को निभाते हमारे वायु योद्धा मानो कह रहे हों इरादा है कि हम कमाल करेंगे और कमाल भी वो की बेमिसाल करेंगे मुस्तकबिल तो उसकी रजा पर है सिफर कोशिश आसमां पे इबारत लिखने की हम बहरहाल करेंगे After the impeccable display of ceremonial drill today, please remain seated as we prepare for the next display. Very soon, we shall witness a thrilling performance by the Tri Services Band and display of precision drill by the Air Warrior Drill Team, Subrito. This will be followed by a scintillating display of low level aerobatics by PC 7 Mark II aircraft, light combat helicopter Prachand, Sarang helicopter display team the mighty Sukhoi 30 NKI, indigenous light combat aircraft Tejas and the Surakiran aerobatic team. From the earliest times, music has been a soul-stirring accompaniment to the personnel in arms, acting as a catalyst to the spirit of battle and inspiring them to go forth and conquer. Military bands enliven the spirit, strengthen the mood, and help in promoting pride and camaraderie. Indian martial bands have existed in the Indian culture since the era of the Maratha Empire. However, it was only in the 18th century that organized military bands were brought to India by the British Army. Though Indian Army Band was formed in the pre-independence era, the Faculty of Music was established in October 1950 under the patronage of the then Commander-in-Chief, General K.M. Karyappa, OBE. The Indian Air Force Band was formed in the year 1944, while the Indian Naval Band was formed in 1945. Today, presenting for you, we have the Tri Services Band comprising of 48 members from the Indian Army, Navy, and Air Force.
across to the fall. Ladies and gentlemen, the tune being played today is Aparajay Arjun. This tune is a dedication to the Marshal of the Indian Air Force, Arjun Singh, Distinguished Flying Cross. This tune is composed and arranged for the military band by Flight Lieutenant L.S. Roop Chandra.
watching as the band is again changing formation, this time to form back into a square. Thai Services Band today has been trained under the guidance of Flight Lieutenant L.S. Roop Chandra, Director of Music, Indian Air Force. The Indian Army Band from Officers Training Academy is led by Nayab Subedar Tony Mon. The Naval Band from INS Kunjali is led by Chief Petty Officer Amit Datta. And the Air Force Band is led by Warrant Officer Ashok Kumar, Vishisht Seva Medal. the Tri Services Band enthralling you, please give a big round of applause as they march off to the tune of Sare Jahan Se Achha. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay seated as the Air Warrior Drill Team is gearing up to captivate you with their precision drill display. Ladies and gentlemen, get set to witness an exceptional display of teamwork, coordination and skill by the Air Warrior Drill Team Subroto of Indian Air Force. Air Warrior Drill Team Subroto is a unique display team and with their choreographed elegance, they maneuver their rifle with grace and agility, demonstrating flawless technique and synchronization. The team consists of 28 young and vibrant air warriors. So far, the team has performed all over the country during last 19 years. Today, the team will perform thrilling rifle movements in 10 different formations. The motto of the team is Drill to Thrill. Now the team is 
marches forward to seek permission from the Honorable Chief Guest to start the demonstration. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourself to experience an extraordinary and unconventional rifle drill with this first formation, the arrow formation. In this captivating rifle drill, precision and finesse are on full display as the air warriors execute each movement with fluidity and control. members as the five and a half kgs three notchy rifle with their bayonet appears as a toy in their hands.
and gentlemen, do not take your eyes off the rifles which are going to be seen in that magical moment. They perform one more time for those who miss it the first time. With an enthusiastic advance, the team will form a square formation. And from here, the team will rearrange themselves into single aircraft formation. Meanwhile, leading the aircraft and Raghupati Dube is back among us with the impressive solo rifle maneuvers. The team will now back to form the square formation and will perform combination of movements in zigzag formation. Each moment is executed with meticulous attention to detail, from this transition between positions to the purity of their footwork. As they navigate through the intricate sequence of positions and transitions, every subtle adjustment is critical, separating these gay warriors from the rest. Gentlemen, look straight ahead as the team is transforming from square formation to prison formation to give you all a closer view of this mesmerizing rifle movements. Ladies and gentlemen, while you all enjoying the drill moments, let me introduce you to the team members. Today, the team is led by leading aircraftsman Aryan. In front rank, we have Satyam Chauve. In second rank, we have Kapil Vasu, R.K. Gupta and Kapil Sahil. In third rank, L.A.C. Kuldeep, Bupendra, Suraj, Dagar and L.A.C. Anish Chaudhary. In fourth rank, we have LAC Ave Rajput, Bhagel, Shantanu, Amit Pandey, Dodi, Satyam Chaube, and Amit Rathaw. Officer in charge of AWDT, Wing Commander Kunal Khanna, Team Administrator, Squadron Leader HS Kanyal, along with the able team of instructors, Junior Warrant Officer R.B. Upadhyay and Junior Warrant Officer P. Ramesh Babu have been actively involved to bring the standard of the display which you had witnessed. The team is now preparing itself for the grand finale, the tunnel formation, which is the most thrilling moment of the day. Gentlemen, watch out for the team leader who is going to test the precision of the teammates by passing through the tunnel of rotating rifles with bare bayonets. This moment is a result of immense practice, focused hard work, coordination between mind and the body, and the confidence in the abilities of self and their teammates. Now the team leader marches forward to seek permission from the Honorable Chief Guest to march out the team.
Gentlemen, please appraise our team with a thunderous round of applause for the wonderful performance by the young air warriors of Air Warrior Dream Team, Subroto of Indian Air Force. Jai Hind! Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts as you are about to witness a fantastic low level aerobatic display by PC 7 Mark II aircraft. Today's display is being carried out by Wing Commander SR Shingate with Squadron Leader Himan. Both experienced qualified flying instructors on PC-7 Mark II aircraft are posted as directing staff at FIS. And, and while you're talking, talking, please, please welcome Meenakshi coming, coming in from your left. left. Look to your right as the pilot positions himself for the first maneuver, which is a loop. Now, as he comes towards us, he will pitch up and describe a vertical circle in the sky. This maneuver is known as the loop. Diving right now. Pulling up. Beautifully describing a circle in the sky. Reaching the top of the arc. Momentarily defying gravity, the aircraft now recovers close to 250 knots and just 300 feet above the ground, positioning nicely for a flyby where you can see the entire plan of the beautiful aircraft. The pilot is now turning at max rate towards us and accelerating to 220 knots for the next maneuver, which is the roll of the top. Watch. As the aircraft pulls up and does a smooth roll. And that was executed with perfect timing and grace. And the pilot is now positioning for a sharp hard turn. Watch as they back sharply, pulling into a tight high turn. Pushing both the men and machine to their limit. After executing a hard left turn, the pilot is now smoothly transitioning to the right, setting up for a stunning nice edge maneuver. Now shift your gaze to the extreme right. As the name suggests, the aircraft will cut through the air like a knife. This is done by holding 90 degree angle of bank and application of rudder to hold the nose on the horizon. And there she goes, coming in, slicing through the sky. She positioned for the next maneuver. I would like to inform you that the PC-7 was inducted in the Indian Air Force in 2013 and coincidentally by a team led by the present Air Officer Commanding in Chief Training Command, Air Marshal Nagesh Kapoor. Ladies and gentlemen, now as the PC-7 comes in from your left, let's see what she does next. 
and the aircraft is flying in reverse. Like they say, pilots have a very different perspective of the world. You look about them, and they look about you. All officers of the Indian Air Force have to undergo training at Air Force Academy. The first flying instructor is always special, as he is the one who has taught them the art and science of flying. Finally, from the right, here she comes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes on the aircraft as she now carries out a roll in front of these as a salute. There she rolls. That was the basic trainer aircraft of the Indian Air Force, the Pilatus PC-7 Mark II. As it takes to the skies overhead to carry out some spectacular maneuvers. Dear audience, please look to your left. Can you support the Trachan launching? And getting into a hover right above the tree line. helicopter hover and do a spot turn? If not, there is your chance. Please notice the rapid pull up and the unique ability of the rotor as the pilot wants the helicopter under negative G to come to a hover high above the ground. The Prachand will now be turning on the spot and there she turns on the spot. Getting into a slow dive and gathering. 
momentum to come right in front of us to demonstrate the steep minimum radius turn. Such a lethal combination of firepower, advanced systems and high altitude performance is unmatched by any other helicopter in the world. It has in its arsenal a turret-mounted gun, 70mm rockets, air-to-air missile and air-to-ground missiles. Keep looking as the helicopter turns to carry out a steep turn again. towards training and operationalization all across India. It has emerged as a formidable attack helicopter in RAF's arsenal. Though light in weight, Trachan carries the punch of a heavyweight. It carries more firepower than any, he any helicopter in the world in the same weight class. This flying beauty, the indigenous Trachan, surely teases as it goes away. But wait. Hold your breath. And there it goes, climbing sleepily. Leads up the speed to zero. Bidding farewell to the lovely audience present today. Thank you. 